In 2005, an establishment in Boise, Idaho, managed to stay open by selling a basic pencil and sketch pad for $15. However, a certain demographic was still very happy to pay for it. Why? Now, I read something that sounds potentially related, so I'm not going to say, oh, I've got this, but, oh, I'm, I'm going to be cagey, just in case. It's got to be either alcohol or marijuana or a strip club. Surely. We're in <laughs> Idaho. It's a conservative state. Uh, although, I mean, to be fair, Boise is a big city and probably is actually quite liberal, I think. So I have a feeling this is someone get, doing an end run around the law. It's one of those... Uh, That's what I was thinking as well. Is it because they were not allowed to sell their real thing, so they would say that they're selling that, but in reality... It was like, yes. You're 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 in the right sort of idea. Okay, there, that's yes. why you were saying uh, marijuana, maybe. Yeah, if this was if this was the 1930s, it would have been prohibition and alcohol, and mm. you know you you ferment the <laughs> you ferment the notepad for a few months, and it gives you alcohol <laughs> at the end of it. But it's I don't know. It, it can't be rolling papers for uh, for spliffs, but it's got to be something like that, surely. So am I am I under the impression that. $15 in the long distant time of 2005. That would have been quite expensive for a pencil and sketch pad of these of the types that they were selling. Yes, these are more expensive. If you wanted just a pencil and a sketch pad, you'd go somewhere else and get them for a few mm. dollars. Here's my here's my thought. I'm going to assume that it's 2005 Idaho out of the list of alcohol, marijuana and strip club. I'm going to assume that it's a strip club and they are selling it as a life drawing class. That you go oh, in and... That it, would be clever. On the other $15 is not... That's not right. No, you, that, that'd be like 50, 60. So that's got to be more than that, surely. Well, actually, Tom, you've, you've hit the nail on the head. It is... Okay. A, there was no... At no point were they like, oh, let's, let's uh, take the paper and turn it into moonshine or use it to roll up. No, it was... They used the sketch paper for sketching. Uh, it was illegal to be running uh, a strip club. Uh, so there was a law that banned total nudity in public, uh, which threatened to shut down strip clubs. But there was an exemption for plays and for life drawing, for art classes. So you arrive at the strip club. They uh, pay you a far too expensive pencil and sketch pad. And at that point, no, no, no. We're just drawing life models. It's 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 art. We're not just going to a strip club. Um and uh yeah, that 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 was their way of getting around the ban. The similar one that I had heard just recently was for marijuana where places couldn't you couldn't sell marijuana, but you could have marijuana. So they would just be selling expensive paper and pencils and saying, "And also, here's a free gift with every purchase." <laughs> That's how they get you. It it tends uh, not to survive courts of law. That it tends to it tends to be someone who's got a brilliant idea that then just meets a judge who just goes, "No, Go, come on." It's like the it's like the the sovereign citizens of strip clubs. <laughs> so, the way you said that in my head, it's like it's a TV series like The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Well, welcome to Sovereign Citizens of Strip Clubs. I'm Michael, but I don't have a real government identity. I'm a person, not a personage, and you can't charge me with crimes. And also, now I'm taking off my clothes. Why are we giving this idea away for free? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, because of a law banning total nudity in public, uh, a strip club in Boise, Idaho, got around the law uh, by selling pencils and sketch pads for nude life art to bypass that ban. 